Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute. Marlon Wayans says Tupac was in chaos and recalls the look on Tupac's face when he and Omar Epps saw him with Suge Knight in Las Vegas. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Marlon Wayans, he did an interview with Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay podcast, and we're about to listen to this little snippet of the interview. So if you want to listen to the full interview, go to um, Club Shay Shay on YouTube or any digital streaming platform. The video already got like over 10 million views. That's crazy, huh? But let's listen to this. I remember I saw Pac was performing. He invited me down to Glam Slam. Okay. And he was performing with Biggie. There's a picture with Tupac and Biggie. The only picture I think of them two together. And if you look in the corner, I'm sitting in the background twisting my hair. Now the irony is I saw Tupac in Vegas at the Luxor 20 minutes before he got shot. We saw him. I seen Suge and all these cars and thugs and reds. And I was like, Ugh. I turned white. I was like, we really shouldn't go over there. I mean, this is way from me. Hi, Pac. <laughs> Omar was like, nah, we got to go say what's up, pay our respects. And Pac was a huge star at yeah. this time. And I was like, you sure? This is sure looks like a lot of trouble over there. And so I go over there, I give him a hug. We all talk, kick it for five minutes. And the BMW pulls up. And me, Omar, Mitchell, we get in a cab. And we pull off. And I'll never forget the look on Tupac's face as we pulled off. It's kind of just like looking at us like. Maybe I should get in the car with you? It just, he looked like, man, I miss that freedom. I miss that fun. And he was just in this chaos. It was something, a part of him that's wished that it was like the innocence. He could just go with the innocence right. and go with the... And so we left. And then 20 minutes later, we heard he got shot. All right, y'all. Um, remember, Marlon Wayans, he um, played alongside Tupac in Above the Rim. That came out in 1994. And remember, Juice, I believe that came out like in 91 or 92. But... Um, Juice Omar Epps played in there with um, Pac. You remember Bishop? <laughs> but um, yeah, if you think about it, man, Tupac was happy to be out of prison. I think he was happy to, you know, have his, you know, so-called freedom and he can still do what he wanted to do. He wasn't completely free because remember, even though Shug Knight put up the money to bail him out, he still was like he had to follow a certain protocol by his parole officer. So if not, he can be um, violated and go back. But at the same time, though, you never know, man. You reach a certain lifestyle and you look at your friends, your colleagues, the people like, damn, and look at them. But Tupac, man, he was intuitive. Like that dude, that, he, that dude knew so much. He came from a spiritual background, you know, being with his mom, Afini Shakur, Asada Shakur. You know, the auntie and other family members, you know, Matulu Shakur, as far as stepfather, like all these people that played a role in his life, they still, you know, gave him that spiritual um, food as far as teaching him what's right for wrong. And, you know, he has a spirit and he knew what's right for wrong anyway. Tupac, you know, I don't know what his religion was, but he, like he said, he did believe in God. But at the same time, though, he said that it was more than just God. And I respected him. At, at the first time I've heard him say that, he said that in the Vibe interview. Check out the Vibe um, interview on YouTube. But um, you can feel stuff. I remember I remember the night when my one of my homeboys got shot. I'll never forget. We was all kicking in the set. And I remember... Like, I was like, bro, you sure you want to go over there? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just felt something was off. Like, and it, 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 he, you know, even though he was happy, I still felt something was off. And like 30 minutes later, 
he had got shot. And he was the only person that got shot. The people he was with, some of the other homies. Yeah, they rushed him to the hospital. He lived. Don't get me wrong. That was a blessing. But still, I felt it. And even though you can tell somebody, don't do that or you shouldn't do this. It's sometimes some people have to go through that. Was Tupac supposed to be in the, um, the vehicle when he got shot? A lot of people are going to say no. But at the same time, this is not the butterfly effect. You can't alter your life. You know what I'm saying? Because even if he can't, say like if Pac never got in that BMW. Now what? Would he have lived? Would he still be living right now? Or would something else happen to him? You got to think about that. You got to think about that. Because I know sometimes, oh man, if so-and-so never went over there, they'd be living right now. Or if I, if I would have never did this back in the day, I would have made it to the NBA or the NFL. Or if I would have gave homegirl my number, she'd be my wife right now. I'd be having children. Would have, could have, should have. But at the same time, it's life. You can't control the Grand Reaper. You can't control your final destination. You have to live life. And I hope, you know, I'm glad Marlon, you know, gave us these details. I never knew, you know, that they saw Pac 20 minutes before um, he got shot. And then, you know, seven days later, he was pronounced dead. So, wow. But um, I just wanted to share this information with y'all. What y'all think? Post your comments below. Hoax Mash, Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support? Donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Vimo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.